a room without books is like a party without soup. I just read this quote and it felt awesome to me. So I decided to implement it in my life and started rummaging for a book from my bookshelf. And then I came across this magic book, The Wild Path, The Wise as a Plan. And as I started reading this book, it, I kept reading it for hours and hours. It felt awesome to me. So I decided to share it with you guys. This book is written by Andre Marks and Bob Spy. The Wild Path, Devise as a Plan. So let's read through this book and know what's in this book. Well, first of all, the translator of this book, Ananya Malhotra, has to say something to us. It is, to everyone who played a part, I thank you with all my heart. To everyone who played a part, I thank you with all my heart. Heart for my pack of friends, a special thank on them. I can always bank on my pack of friends, a special thank on them. I can always bank. Ananya Malutra says to us that all of who has played a part in my life, a special thank to all of those from my heart. For my pack of, pack of friends, it's very special for me. So for my pack of friends, it's very special because I can always bank on them. That means I can always keep my money secure with them and can trust them. So let's read through chapter one, The White Pack. It was a perfectly ordinary day in the city. Cars crawled through the streets, past building sites. Bicycle bells stretched, and people hurried across the pavements with their shopping bags. A group of children skipped home, playing and laughing. While businessmen in their dark suits stepped into the posh restaurants in their lunch break. So, it was a perfectly ordinary day in the city. Cars crawled, cars walked past building sites. They walked past building sites. People hurried across the pavements. People hurried across the pavements of the street with their shopping bags on, while children laughed and played as they skipped home. While children laughed and played as they skipped home. As you can know that this means how the city was, was then. Cars were crawling, walking everywhere, passing building sites. And people were hurrying across the pavements or the footpaths with their shopping bags to home. A group of children laughed and played as they skipped home. So they laughed and played because everyone is tired and happy while they go home. Why? Businessmen in their posh restaurant. For the businessmen in their black suits stepped into the posh restaurants. So this is the scenario of the city. In one such restaurant, sat Mueller, the director of the city zoo. So in one such restaurant, sat Mueller. Mueller is the director of the city zoo. With his three daughters, Amanda Babbitt and Constance. Amanda, the eldest daughter with flaming red hair, was busy rummaging through a crocodile leather bag for a small mirror. She had to check her lipstick every five minutes 
or else she felt ugly and insecure. Babbitt, the middle daughter, who had straw blonde hair. Her nose was buried on the menu. She couldn't make her decision between frog legs or snakes. Both are delicious. Ben. Constance, the youngest, showed no interest in either the Mary or her appearance. She had been noticed her father and sister. Her gaze was fixed on a drab It was a shiny gift that her father had blotted. Which now lay next to her table. She jiggled her feet restlessly. Go on, Papa, give it to her, muttered Babbitt, or else we'll have no peace. So she said, That go on now, Papa. As we know that Babbitt and Constance have are the daughters of Mueller. So they are saying to Mueller, we right. So they said that, go on, pap. Now give it to her or else we'll have no peace. Constance stuck her tongue out. <laughs> but then her father bent down and picked up the present and handed over to her across the table. A very happy birthday, 16. 16, daughter, by Puppet. So he is saying that a very happy 16th birthday to my daughter, or my Puppet. Constant snatched the package greedy. So she snatched the package greedily. She was not bothered about her parents and her sister. She was only bothered about the gift. Her suspicious, it was suspiciously light. A strand of her hair. As black as tires fell across her ears like this. And then she wiped it off with her hand and tore at the people in the heart resting. The eating was fast. Tap, 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 and tap, tap. Then she lifted up the a shimmering ivory colored cloth out of Delicate and light. It was as delicate and as light as small. It was an evening dress of pure silk and broaded on glistering buds. Constance crawled the dress. Frustratiously, she started at her butt. Talking and talking. She was saying that the gift was back. So direct me swallowed up. Don't you like it, my darling? A silk dress? Do I like it? You are asking me. I wanted a fur coat. A fur coat made of wood fur. Yes, I know, my darling. But it's a genuine tiny set. It's much more expensive than I don't care. Amanda and Barbara also bought four coats on their 16th birthday. Both are best. And, and I wanted wool. So, director me was. He was nice. That 
That's true, Papa, said Amanda, finally managing to tear her gaze from the little mirror in her head. That's not fair. Why hasn't Constant got a fur coat? Yes, straight Constant. Why haven't I got a fur coat? Sue, director Mika, suddenly felt very hot in his pants. He had suspected that it would be a tough situation, but this difficult, not at all. He tapped her forehead with his handkerchief like this. He had no choice to give her the phone. But he didn't have it. Now listen down. I did want to give to the wolf for a cold, but the wolf escaped from my soul. You know. You saw it yourself. Yes. And you went after him, Papa. I saw it too. Sprat concept. So what happened? Mueller swallowed again. I, well, I don't know how to explain my precious, um, I followed the world, but through the half city, I somehow lost sight of him. That wasn't the entire trip. The truth was that the Mueller had forgotten that what had happened. He followed the wolf. And in the next day, he didn't know. He had woken up into the jeep at his scrapyard. What suspicious. What happened in between the strangely Strangely, he didn't know, that, but he couldn't tell his this to his daughter because he would be pretty, pretty. He had no choice instead of telling them and the truth, but could not do so. Dot. He, after this incident, still rather woozy and confused, had drawn. Gifting constant instead of He managed to give them her the I will die at evening dress. Even since we loved him as if he had a bad cold, his head seemed stuffed with cotton wool. His vision was fuzzy, and once a day he would break out his vision through sweat. I don't know what has happened. But I will try to remember it, muttered Beard. Sometimes Beard images would flash through his head. Images of underground passage and giant snakes he hoped these were frequent. Constant was not interested in his father's explanation. She banged on the table frustratiously. That the glass says red. Some guests turned around and <coughs> started whispering. 
but constant state. Yeah. You are, you love Babbage and constant much more than me. Oh, mean as that. But that's not, but that's not true, my love. Just look, this sin from China, and he could to not finish his sentence again. I don't want this stupid silk. I want to sh you to shoot a wild animal and make it a fur coat like you did with Amanda and Babbitt. Babbitt finally looked up from Constance hoped that her sister would support her, but Babbitt only said, I think that what that I'll take frogs and snails. Whoa, stupid crow sneaked Constance. She was pretty angry for Babbitt too right now because she had not tried to support her sister. But still, who can explain Constance that what had happened? She jumped up. Her father's glass red wine stopped as red blood. Whoa. What had happened? This is so surreal. Now, liquid split out on the ivory set. Constance, I have a small little message for you. That please try to understand. Don't be so greedy. And always try and understand what your father will see. Well, this is the moral of this chapter. We will continue the next chapter in the next video. So stick around to the next video if you want to learn more about this book.